hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here i'm kimara you should subscribe i don't know you haven't seen the video yet but you should just subscribe um but anyways this video is basically on um some of my study tips i'm doing pretty well in school i feel like i've mentioned that before not like you know i ain't got no 4.0 but I ain't feeling. So I was like, let me help the girlies out because when I came to school, I did not know how to study. I had to fail like a few tests before I really figured it out. Maybe not a few, but like one or two. Well, actually I did fail a few tests because I felt some my freshman year, fell some sophomore year. It took a while for me to get it down, but now I have a solidified study method so yeah i wanted to share that with y'all now this video does have a few underlying assumptions one of them being that you actually attend the class that you're studying for there are some classes that you really don't have to go to and you can still make an a on the test but they're not many so one of the assumptions is that you actually attend class and you actually take notes at least a little bit i'm not gonna lie i'm not i don't really like actively listen in class all the time so i'm not gonna say that's one of the assumptions but at least be in the building that's that's honestly that's that's the bare minimum and that's just what i try to do every day at least be there you know so that's the first underlying assumption the second one is that this isn't a math class that you're studying for i'm sorry for the math majors and i actually will be taking a math class in the summer so it may be a part two to this video if y'all like it where i show how study for math classes but um, I don't think this will help people that have to study for math classes. And if your major is math, we're just already praying for you. We're praying your strength because I don't know what is wrong with you to pick a major that has to do with math. Um, so yeah, but I actually like math. So not to talk down on math, but just saying it's a little harder to study for math. So yeah, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just want to show you guys how to take a lot of information and make sure you can keep it in your head. So yeah without any more talking because i really this is supposed to be like 30 seconds and it's already been two minutes so yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah keep watching okay what's up y'all i'm going into this with the assumption that i already introduced the video so yeah basically in this part of the video i'm making like the heading for my study guide i usually try to make this in a different color just so i can find it easily because I'm gonna fill the page up with a lot of colors. So I just need to be able to know what lecture it's for so I can do it for multiple lectures. So yeah, if you can see the pink area, that's where I basically put the heading for whatever information I'm about to write down. So usually that's like the title of the slide. I sound a little congested right now, I'm sorry. I think it's the pollen, I don't know. Maybe it's the coronavirus, well, we don't know. But I basically put the heading and then write whatever information corresponds with that up under it. And any bold printed words, I put that in another color. So that's what I'm putting in the green the bold printed words just so that when I'm studying usually I'm trying to like study real quick right before the test starts so I want to be able to easily navigate to the important parts um and then as you can see I'm just moving like around the page and just putting different headers in different places I forgot to mention this is for um one of my management classes so there's no math in this subjects in this class um so if you're a math major i don't know if this video is going to help you um and i just you know we're just going to keep you in our prayers because i don't know i don't know if you can actually use this video but if you have any other like lecture based class this to me is the best way to study we've had um the this test in particular was all multiple choice but we have had tests with short answers on them and it all works the same because after you put all this work in the information is going to be like cemented into your brain forever and ever or at least until the test comes and goes so yeah i'm basically just jumping around the page putting my headings um making sure that the important information is in green and everything else is just written in pencil and having fun with it i like to just put different colors on the page see how colors look together so yeah that's basically what's happening i also want to mention that when i do this i'm not a person that studies in silence so i'm usually like listening to music actually not even listening to music usually the best way to do your study guide and focus well for me 
is to like binge watch a show because then I'll like have hours of that show to watch so I'll be able to spend time doing this for hours for multiple lectures um usually for one lecture depending on how long it is it doesn't take me a super long time maybe about 30 to 45 minutes per lecture and this particular test I want to say it had lectures four through ten on it so how many is that one two Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's like seven lectures. So I had to do this basically seven times. Um, so yeah. Some people would say that's too much, but listen, I pay too much money to be going to school and not making A's. Like I just don't I don't believe in it. So um I'm willing to put in, you know, the time if I have it. I understand that everybody has a lot of people work and go to school. I work and go to school. Um I may not work as much as other people though. Um, so I understand not having time so yeah this is just a suggestion if you are really committed to that A and I'm sorry my toes are in this video um, I just noticed that now that I'm looking at it but they do match the marker and the pencil so you know nothing without intention I also want to mention I'm writing very neat in this video well I'm not gonna say very neat but pretty neat but that's only because I'm recording the video as long as you can understand it it really doesn't matter how neat you write unless you're just one of those people that just has to share your notes with people but I don't know I don't really talk to my classmates that much they, they don't really ask for my notes so I'll just write it however I can understand it but I prefer it to be neat just because I do like to post my notes on snapchat because I'd be proud of them like look at all this color like this is a work of art on the page you should take pride in it take pride in your notes um that's like the biggest tip school tip I can give you just take pride in your notes because it makes a big difference when you do Okay, so this is me just showing y'all what I have up until this point. This definitely isn't completed, but I didn't feel like y'all needed to watch me write all those notes. So yeah, that's what I have up until this point. Okay, now this is definitely something I only do if I have time. I made a Quizlet. Um, the Quizlet is private just because um, I used old quiz questions on the Quizlet and my professor is really adamant about us not releasing those so yeah the the Quizlets are private just for me to see and I basically use the test feature which is where y'all see the 100% at um, and I just make a multiple choice test out of the Quizlet and that really helps me and I do that for every lecture as well so on top of making a detailed study guide I also make a detailed Quizlet or a detailed enough Quizlet for every lecture as well just to like make sure it's in my brain and it's there to stay so yeah this is the finished study guide um with all the information from that lecture um yeah it's pretty self-explanatory i did everything i told y'all i did um so usually the day of the test i look over this stuff the day before the test whenever i have time i just kind of look over this work on the quizlet um this is another lecture within the same test that I also did the same thing with because I really do this like I'm not there's no there's no cap in my rap there's no rap in my cap I don't know I'm not capping I really do this okay I tried to look for a drum roll effect but there isn't one so I made a 96 so yeah it works y'all can see it it's right here I made a 96 I did really well on the test so hey I would consider following my tips so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope it's useful. Um, follow me on all my socials. And yeah, go tell someone you love them today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.